Oh, I'm probably gonna ask for some fighting now, fighting lessons. Lord oh. Ethan! As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. <laughs> he was fair and wise. I want to be like that, like my father. Of course, your father you do, boy. was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Duncan or Roland? Roiland. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! Summon the Lord! We need his judgment. Oh, shit. I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Lord Ethan. Mister. Who is this man? This craven is a fair. deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! Oh no, I don't like that shit. We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us. I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. they are not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy. No. Lord Ethan... I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers, three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. I'm gonna be merciful. We can send him to the war. Show him mercy, my lord. He stole from us. Make him pay for what he stole. Give us Oh, you're going to the war, buddy boy. I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me. You'll be punishing an innocent man. You'll be an injustice, my lord. Oh, you're not getting away Please. with Please. My lord. My family depends on me. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. Probably not the right choice, but... We must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord... I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. Oh, I should have sent him to the wall. Fucking bastard. Fucking bastard. That was certainly unpleasant. 
but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? Disloyalty shouldn't be rewarded if others will take advantage of your mercy. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. I want Here. Duncan. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Now we get to have some conversations. Maybe Duncan's the wrong choice. Maybe he's just so likable now, but he's actually a rat bastard. Oh no, I don't want to talk to him, Maester. Let's first talk to Duncan. Duncan, see yes, what he has to say for I himself. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? No one yet. Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. What do you think of Sir Roiland? Do you trust him? He's a fine warrior, my lord. But he's nowhere near ready to serve a sentinel. <laughs> I do not trust him. Yeah, but you he's say that to lose because his temper you're and trying get to get killed. And the at job. the worst possible time. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. And he's gonna say that Duncan's too easy on the folk. I wanna talk to my sister. Oh, who's Malcolm? The first Ethan. one. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw Uncle what you Malcolm. did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? Asher's on she the other side? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. Oh, I, will hope, I only got that now. Until you've spoken West to her about this. Just East try Arose. to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. Hmm. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan hmm. would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. It not with the is. likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. I was trying to talk to you first, but you didn't want none of that. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. 
I saw what you did to that man. What? I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to leave. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Is he who right about who should be sentinel? the sentinel? It should that definitely what? be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Who do you so think Roland I should pick? Is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Like, I honestly don't think there's a wrong way to play the game, but it's interesting to know what you would choose. Okay. I, I, I will trust you. Sword up! Swing left! Parry! Wrong! I didn't know Sir dogs could hold swords. A word? Of course, my lord. Hopefully, if I name I him, he can also teach make. me how to fight. I wanted your advice. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrod to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Your words are wise, Sir Roiland. Thank you, my lord. I will consider them as I make my choice. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I think I I've spoken judgment, to everyone. Lord. So I'm going to go to that council meeting. And I'm going to trust you, Okin. I'm going to trust you. Oh, I can talk to my brother still. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, Aww. so I remember. That's I mean, sad. I can never forget, but... You honour Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. Someday, That's I'll have cute. a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. No, he's not our enemy, but he did a bad thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. People who do bad things need to be punished. Someone did something bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. <laughs> no one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Let's go. I don't know why I want to look at the shield. But that's very similar to the one I used to protect myself in the initial battle. Ta Come on, you dogs! You'll not be fighting here forever! Let's go name our sentinel. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Aye. Oh, wait, let's what wait. is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, I thought it would but be I the see perspective gold. On the situation. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life. Ransom or a robbery? We may pay him now. But what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, 
the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. Ah. I, I, My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Uh, yep. Yes, Maester. Let's I'm ready. Do this. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. May sit. This I believe Lord may Ethan haunt me for has reached ever. his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Oh well. Sir Royland de Gore. Let's do it. You will be my sentinel. God be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Sore loser. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. Shit. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Let Duncan speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say. Duncan? I'm sorry, Lord Ethan. You have chosen your Sentinel. You should hear from him first. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall. I make the bastard fill his boots with piss. You can't he intimidate would see it for the empty that gesture way. that it is, and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods, Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Chair, yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! You want to fight? I want to be the, the calm king. Well, not king, lord. I, I'm, I'm stuck between diplomacy and bargain. I don't want to bargain because then they just steal all my stuff. Uh, I don't think... Ramsey is one for diplomacy. I must say, the decisions in Borderlands were not this tough to make. This is way worse. Okay, I'm gonna try...
and the music doesn't help with the tension either. Although Sir Ryland may object, I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance <laughs> and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face. Lord to Lord. He's not Ramsay a Lord. Ramsay Snow is no Lord. That's absurd. Ah, but make him you think. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? That's terrible, because I'm like... I will I'm meet gonna, him in the I'm, Great I Hall. I hand it to him. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? You will lead us into ruin! I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Like, just because I agree with you doesn't mean you can say whatever the hell you want. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. And we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Uh, this is my third my lord, Telltale game you have ever, named and your it's sentinel, the most tense. But you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Holy shit, this guy's gonna be Asher a bodyguard. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. You're a thinker, Ethan. You contemplate, and a lord needs that. But a lord also needs swords. It's true. As you said, there's only one way in the world. The fighting way. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. I want that Malcolm fighter. will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. Uh, I'm like glad you will let me game. do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. We'll see. Wow, this jumping around is exactly like the show.
What's that? Yoink! That one's mine now. Uh, uh, what's this? I'm not faking the letter, that's for sure. No, I'm going to return the seal. It's probably going to be useful, but I'm not going to take that. Marjorie? Ah. Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. Uh-huh. And you're a coward. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. Please don't repeat what you heard to anyone. Of course. I never would. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... Oh, that's not a good face on Marjorie's face. The face on the face is the face of not goodness. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you all right, my lady? Concerned for Marjorie first. You've got to play the game. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. <laughs> Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. I'm so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the King's help. Please don't hold it against me. Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. Joffrey's such a douche. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. You're not going to be queen for long. I must send long. a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. I wonder what the key was that I stole. Milady. Ah, uh, the coal boy. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, Milady. Oh. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. I actually am Hopefully inclined I'll to trust I this be useful to you. dirty little boy. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... Okay, goodbye. Bye, boy. People would be willing to help you. Wow, he's quick on his feet. I hate the King's God, actually. I think they look tacky. But oh my gosh, the mountain as a king's god is insane. Where the bloody hell is Duncan? He should be here. Now fuck him if he's angry. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. No, because Tyrion Your men is are ready to act come if through. needed. Sir Royland. I trust you'll keep a level head. Of course, my lord. 
but the <laughs> bastard of Bolton can't be trusted to do the same. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a Hey, fire. French fries, how you doing? Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is he? Sorry, May I tempting. introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of <laughs> Thank the you. warden no, of the... That's enough. He just calls him by name. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. You like sausage more. Aren't you the little lord? The Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. Hate that man so much. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood doesn't look like much. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. Actually, I think he'll appreciate the gesture. Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. <laughs> Look at that. More foresters. Lord oh, Ramsay. You stay away from my sister, boy. Come out where I can see you. Force him to focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. <laughs> First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now. I Was hate it? just giving in. But I Here's have the thing. He's a monster. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields. What would the Starks pots. need with ships? I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. I hate Ramsay Bolton so much. Man. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. Our men are dead. Yours lived. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord. Hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of oh, insolence God. from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? Yes, actually. Everything. We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. The White Hills had ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Hence the name, of course. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. Look at their sigil, my lord. A barren hill. Hmm. <laughs> Do you it's want true. ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, 
Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the King's peace. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Uh, I hate Ramsay Bolton. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. That's. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Royland, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, oh wow. Twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. <laughs> Sucker punch. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. No. You can be my highborn ward. <gasps> Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Oh, Let her God. go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. You've gone too far, Lord Ramsay. I demand you let her go. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? I'm so worried he's about to... Oh, 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 no! No! Stab me in the neck. But no! I don't want the brave lord. <laughs> Far too much trouble. Ethan! 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 My lord! Oh, no. Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. Oh, I oh shit! I certainly feel better about all this. <laughs> this is just like the show. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. I did not expect Lovely that. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the maester quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Please. Stop! Don't let him take no. me! You will not take Stop him! Stop! No, please! Ryan, please! No! no. Ryan! Do something! Ethan? Oh, my son. This is just like the real show. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. I... Those who will not stop until I'm Ethan kind of freaking out here. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Shit, guys! So remember, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, and if you can, why don't you hit subscribe now.